Well, good Wednesday morning. Welcome back. Last day of March and this month has been a mixed bag of things from 91 on the 17th to the upper 60s and lower 70s for the first week of the month and a high of 82 for yesterday and we'll be near that for today. High near 80 around 1 and 2 o'clock before a cold front moves in and that's going to provide some drier air and some lower humidity and some very nice mornings, afternoons for the next couple days through Easter weekend. Rain time, I mean, you can see some rain northeast on I-20, isolated showers and storms east of Dallas, and it's all thanks to a cold front that's working in through central Texas right now, but meantime, we are just sitting in lots of warmth and lots of humidity on this Wednesday morning. 71 degrees as you get out this morning, southeast wind very calm and humidity is high. The dew point is matching the air temperature at 70 to 71 and relative humidity at 96% this morning. So next couple hours, a little tricky, at least through at least the early afternoon and a cold front's going to work in, produce some isolated showers. And then by tonight, you'll notice the cold front windy conditions 15 to 25 miles an hour and gusting up to 30 to 35 in the wake of that cold front. Now, right now, visibility is not a huge concern out near Rockport. It gets pretty dense, though, about a mile and some of those pockets northeast of Rockport down to a quarter mile, just closer to Matagorda Bay and Copano Bay. But the winds will be the big story for today. Right now, 5 to 10. 15 miles an hour and then by this afternoon that cold front moves in and you'll notice that breeze 15 20 miles an hour and then it'll gust 30 to 35 this evening through tomorrow morning and that should eliminate the fog situation overnight for the next couple mornings thanks to drier air and cooler as well. So here's your timeline temperatures upper 60s lower 70s through about let's say 11 a.m. Here comes that line of showers that will be the cold front as it pushes through Mathis Beeville George West first. And this will help spark off, yes, a chance at rain. Not the greatest chance, but a few isolated showers will be possible through about 1, 2, and 3 o'clock. Not the best rain chance, as I mentioned. But as that cold front pushes south, maybe a few sprinkles out west near Alice, Orange Grove, George West, and Beeville. But notice temperatures significantly cooler, lower 60s, maybe even upper 50s, and temperatures continue to plummet into early tomorrow morning. As you wake up tomorrow morning around, let's say, 6, 7 a.m., temperatures will be near 49, 50, 52 here in Corpus Christi, pair of fives over in Rockport and lower 50s out near George West and Beeville. Now for Easter Sunday and Easter weekend, if you have plans, a little tricky. We're going to watch a low coming from the west, move through Mexico and West Texas, give us more clock over for Saturday and more rain chances for Sunday as it gets closer and closer. Our model forecast model guidance has this low getting closer to Corpus at the back half of the weekend, which again, the closer we are to this low, the better chance we have at least on cashing in on some patchy to scattered showers. So Easter Sunday, upper 70s, lower 80s, rain will be around. Not widespread coverage of rain, but at least some patchy to isolate showers and southeast winds up to 20 miles an hour. OK, today's timeline near 80 for about the afternoon high 1 2 o'clock cold front moves in produces isolated showers north winds 15 25 miles an hour and the 7 day forecast shows a combination of sun and clouds, lower humidity for Thursday and Friday and note those morning temperatures lower 50s for the next couple mornings. So please have a light jacket through Friday and early this weekend guys. Thank <laughs> you.